Hi, I'm Rick Streaker, Packard's National Training Coordinator. In this session of the Packard Academy, we're going to talk about fan assemblies that are used in the evaporator section of display cases. Usually you'll see them in grocery stores, for example. A number of those fans currently have the EBM PAPS, highly efficient ECM products in them. These are direct replacements for those units. Now there are various features on this unit that help you to find the right replacement when you're going to an aftermarket product. When selecting the proper replacement, we look at the voltage of the motor that's being used in the unit. We look at, at the lead assembly that's attached to that motor. And we also are interested in the speed of the assembly. Let's look at these characteristics individually and how we get the proper replacement and how we can also program that replacement to make certain that the speed's appropriate for the application. The first thing we want to do is determine the voltage. We want to make certain that we select either 115 or 230 volt product to replace the unit that's appropriate in that system. After selecting the proper assembly based upon the voltage, it's then necessary to select a cord set for that assembly. Always make certain that you replace the cord set when replacing the assembly. Use a new cord set. The two most popular cord sets are a straight plug and a right angle plug. When choosing the proper plug, firmly insert the plug into the back of the motor and you'll note that it'll be flat with the back side of the motor. That also provides a watertight connection for the assembly. We've selected the proper assembly based upon voltage. We've also selected the proper cord set. Now it's critical that we select the proper speed for operation of that assembly in the unit. To do that, we use the Nano Programmer. The Nano Programmer is provided with instructions and a carrying case. The programmer operates by reading through the winding of the motor, the speed setting of that motor, and you have the capability to adjust that speed setting based upon the particular application. The speed setting is adjusted by buttons, by pushing the buttons on the Nano Programmer that allow us to move up and down for the different speeds. It allows for two speeds to be set on the motor. To determine the proper speed of the assembly, we should look for the speed on the old assembly. That speed may be identified with a label on the shroud. There may be a label in another location identifying that speed. It's not necessarily a good idea to use the nameplate label to determine what that speed is. You may be able to determine this speed by using the nano processor on the old assembly. If the old assembly is operable, we can use that for identifying specifically what the speed is set for on that old assembly. However, if the old assembly is defective, if it's open and we're not able to read that speed, then perhaps we can go to a second or a third assembly that might be in that evaporator unit and read the speed on that unit to identify what we need on the replacement. So now let's set the speed. You can use a wide flat bladed screwdriver to remove this tab or I use a nickel. That works for me. I put a nickel in the slot I turn that one quarter turn. I can then remove the plug over this, this electrical connection. 
Now the plug, it is sealed. So once we install that, it will protect that from any moisture or water that could be accessible to the unit. Once we've opened this connection, we then insert the nano programmer into the back of the motor. With the nano programmer inserted into the motor, we can now verify the speed that the motor is currently set to. I move the switch to on to activate the programmer. If I select speed one, pushing the speed one button, it will now show me the speed setting for speed one. In this case, it's 2100 RPM. I determine that it's required that the assembly be set for 1800 RPM. In order to change that, I'll press speed one, verifying it's currently 2100 RPM. Then to go to 1800 RPM, I need to decrease the speed setting. As I hold the decrease arrow, initially it'll change in 10 RPM increments. As it is depressed and held, it will speed up and those increments will increase in value as it, at a, as it approaches 1800. As I get closer to 1800 RPM, I may want to jog so that I don't go past my target speed. Now I have speed one set at 1800 RPM. I want to save that speed setting to do that, I depress and hold speed one. To verify, by pressing that, I can always determine exactly what that speed setting is set at. To change the speed setting for speed two, if needed, I would repeat the same process on speed two as I did on speed one. If I needed to increase the speed, I would use the increase arrow or up arrow. Always make certain that you save your new speed settings by holding the speed one or speed two button, depending upon the speed that you're changing. Verify that it is correct by depressing the button and reading the monitor. After my speeds have been set, power the nano programmer to the off position, pull it straight up out of the motor, replace the plug in the back, securely tightening it to protect it against any possible moisture or water. And always, always remember, when using the nano programmer with the assembly, there never should be power applied to the assembly. It's always with power disconnected to the assembly. After following these steps, after selecting the right voltage of motor, after selecting the proper cord set for the motor, and after properly setting the speed on the motor. The units were ready for reassembly. Thanks for participating in this session of Packard Academy. I hope to see you again soon.